It's just that whole fucking speed of light thing that yeah could be the downfall of us all. Well, that's it. When we look at the singularity type things, if people have actually transcended the singularity and that's already happened, like just go a few yeah. thousand years from now, according to what we're doing, then yeah, you're kind of yeah. you're converting matter into more computational power and then you're limited by the speed of light, which sucks. Balls. Yeah, which means that if other alien species have reached the singularity or mm. it may turn themselves into some kind of energy form mm. or something, then right. it's still going to take them the speed of light to mm. travel. <laughs> yeah. Which is slow in a universal term. It's just getting to that point that you're just converting all energy into more, more computational power and then, yeah, you can't get it any faster. Which but, is kind of cool that it means time doesn't really become a factor. Yeah, well, that's what I was saying. It, maybe, if, maybe when time's not a factor, then that's not really an issue. Yeah. Well, it's a new thing. We kind like, of, yeah. It takes you, what, a couple of million years to cross the gal the universe or whatever. Yeah. But whatever. Who cares? It's, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of the same thing now. Like, time or do we'll look at evolution yeah. now that the very fact that we, like, have time on such a small level is just incredible. Yeah, oh, um, <laughs> we, just we track time by the second now. Yeah. Like, you, with our digital culture, <laughs> we track time by the second, and... That's so new. Evolution is, like, what, the species... Yeah, the human species have only been around for, what, 100,000 years? I mean, look at technology. Technology's only been, like, maybe yeah. 10,000. We've only been, what, Jesus. civilized for the last couple of thousand? We've yeah. had computers for the last <laughs> 40 years. It's great. The internet for the last, let's say, mainstream 10. <laughs> yeah, it's bizarre. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Stop mind fucking ourselves for a sec. That's <laughs> <laughs> um, galaxies, they do that to you. <laughs> hey, my story is uh, Microsoft Research. What these guys are doing is they're developing a programming language for the genetic engineering of living cells. So last week we talked, well, I think it was last week, we talked about the yeah synthetic life, how Craig Venter created the fir uh, first sort of synthetic life form. Yeah. Um, and this is kind of related because what they're trying to do is basically create a programming language. So um, I'm just going to read out their ultimate dream because I'll fuck it up. Um, okay, an ultimate dream is to design these systems at a high level of abs abstraction using engineering-based tools and programming languages, press a button and have the design translated to DNA sequences that can be synthesized and put into working, uh, to working living cells. <laughs> so cool. So it, it, I think it's what, that, what Craig Venter was, was kind of doing, but they want to actually turn it into just a standard programming language where you program in what you want and how you want to interact. You can then simulate and say, it's okay... the newest programming language. This is how it works, yeah. design life just jumping on there that you knew, yeah... You, yeah, it's programming language. It's just modular bits. So you say, "Oh, cool! It needs respiration." You just <laughs> chuck in respiration module. You're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you just connect them all together. Oh, yeah. I hadn't thought of that before. I was just thinking like a programming, but yeah, modulize like yeah, you, you use other people's that. code. If someone makes yeah. a, a perfect DNA it's piece great. of DNA code to actually do a particular yeah. function, you share it and then plug it in, and yeah, and it just keeps on spiraling out of control. Then you've got like a, a nice base for all the cells to build on. And you're like, okay, cells yeah. automate. And then print, we've got DNA printers, and then it's well, just... You can have, like, water breathing and stuff. stuff. You design how to make them all breathe water. You're like, oh, cool, I'm going to have a fish. Maybe not that fun. <laughs> <laughs> like a fish. Yeah. It's kind of cool. That's a programming language for genetics, for DNA. That's pretty... I don't know that's what else to say about it. Yeah. That's, it, it's already getting that into that stage. I mean, we are going into... I think with the, the announcement of the, um, the, self, uh, the bacteria from scratch, the Craig mm. Venter's thing... That is the start of, um, you know, this, the start of this of biotechnology, of the real ramp up to biotech. Well, this is what I think. What this is is they're trying to work out the platform for it. That like once you can get the platform Maybe. going there, and then like just put in all of the stuff, and then you just need the killer app to become that uses that. It could be. It's Microsoft Research. They just do all these crazy mm. stuff just to see what sticks. Yeah. Well, Are you... kind of cool. I've got yeah one more. What I want to finish it off on is uh, quick Facebook day. <laughs> this I thought was um, it was very cute. I had, I had to mention it, just um, that everyone was like, "Oh my god, privacy concerns about Facebook." Yeah, I don't want to ever put myself online. It's gone too far. Like, hey, let's quit Facebook. There was this massive. Everyone was talking about it. It was very weird, and um, it ended up that only thirty-one thousand people quit, which was something like zero point zero 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 six percent. Because there's like four hundred and fifty million people in there now. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, so that was kind of funny, and uh, really just didn't work, but everyone's like, oh my god, I hate pr the privacy settings in Facebook just sucks. 0.000068. Hurrah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's just really shows it's become ingrained that, I mean, people like, like to yell about all the privacy and all of that, but when you look at the stats, it's just <clears throat> not working. It, it's, yeah. it's not a factor. People like complain about it, but it's really not a factor. Which is interesting, considering um, Zuckerberg's been going recently on about a big binge about how much he loves, um, uh, how much he cares about privacy. 
Yeah, it's, it's bullshit. Kind of, oh, totally. It's like you see his um, comments from before. Yeah, it's, all that. it's just it's God, just a. God, I mean, God. he's being told by his PR spokesman to say that. Yeah, oh, investing in that uh, diaspora <laughs> and all yeah, that. That's just another. Oh, diaspora. That's gonna fail, guys. Like that's stupid. Yeah. I, I like mean, the concept. Of, I, I'm, I'm very interested to see what they make. It could be yeah. good, but I, from what they've given us so far, it looks stupid. Well, yeah, it's. I, I think it's just been the media is just kind of like, oh my god, look, these guys yeah. are trying to do it, and it's just latched on. But yeah. anyway, yeah, it's and, ad, it's uh, diaspora is um, a, yeah, diaspora. It's yeah, t- anonymous Facebook, pretty much. So, yeah, with privacy. And all with that. privacy. But yeah, I, Not, watched, I watched a video about what they're trying to do, but it. it to make that much sense. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but, um, oh, all the best with it. I hope it goes well, but I, yeah, don't but really see it. We, we mentioned before, like, we think, I think Facebook's actually, they're doing a shit job in terms of privacy, mm. but there is a reason for it. <laughs> yeah, you don't. They're, they, yeah, we talked about before, like, they're trying to diminish privacy slowly over time, because we, I think, I think privacy is just a cultural issue. Yeah. Like, obviously you don't want to share everything about yourself, because that's just stupid. Yeah. But there's parts of yourself and, it should generally be that yeah. you are that you can actually shit. Yeah. <coughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Um. And in and also in the sense that you know, they know that the more you share, the more data they have. You can actually mm. do stuff about it. The, the, our whole episode. I think this this um this time has actually been about sharing data. Yeah. The more data you have, the you can actually automate things. You can create algorithms that are incredibly intelligent, like yeah. AI it's algorithms. It benefits everyone. Like if you look at yeah. any principles of free trade or anything like that, it's always about like <laughs> open yourself up as much as possible, and yeah. then that everything works well. What it should be, I think, with um, privacy, is that automatically you share everything, and then you just say if you don't want to share something. I think that's better. An opposite. Angle, and yeah. the opposite way, that rather saying that oh, I'm just going to pick what I want to share. Screw that. Share everything and just say, no, I don't want to share that. I don't want to share that. I don't want to share that. Yeah. So you're like, cool, my sex life, I don't want to share with my parents. <laughs> well, I just, I just don't yeah. want to share in general. It gets freaky. I think the issue has been it's gone mainstream because originally it was just your friends you added and, yeah. you know, you, you share anything with your friends. Like, mm. But I think it's, people are starting to learn now that, you know, um, our social context, our entire behaviours are different based on where we are. Yeah, what group? Well, what, like, it, like, we change, we, are we, <clears throat> who we are, we change so often. Yeah. I just hate how the Facebook like, cultures become normalized there. Yeah, it's not intelligent at all. Yeah. I said that Still needs a, a place to go online where you can be... Share your thoughts and ideas and build up with other people. Yeah, rather uh, than, uh, rather rather than trying to make jokes and, and get feedback from the... Not, that's the point. I mean, um... <laughs> cigars. Um, pipes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be kind of cool. Pretty cool. You mentioned Facebook again. I did. Well, <laughs> I think it's important. Okay. It's very big. Well, weren't you saying before that Zanga, um, yeah, game company now valued at five billion. Five billion dollars. They just bought out a company They're called. They're a Facebook game company. Oh fuck. Farmville. No, what did they buy out, man? No, no, they are Farmville, aren't they? No, are they Mafia was. Oh, they bought out Challenge Games. Yeah. Mm. Um, for twenty point five million dollars, and I have a feeling the Challenge Games just had two games. Warstorm. Warstorm and Ponzi. Wow. And yeah, they they valued at five billion dollars and just expanding more. Like this is crazy. Five billion dollars. <clears throat> There's so much activity in, uh, I guess, like social games, anything to do with social, um, I mean, social group buying, that's huge with Groupon, mm. and then uh, geolocational stuff. Like, that seems to be the big yeah. trend to follow it. it. Yeah. Anyway, it's been pretty cool. This is, uh... Oh, yeah. we never mentioned a thing here, did we? This mm. is June 6th. Oh, uh, I think it's episode... It's 18. I think we're 18. Hells yeah. We're at drinking age now, man. We're adult. <laughs> so uh, yeah, give us some comments Cheers. and tell us what you think. Cheers. Cool. Thank you guys. Yeah. We'll wear some uh, normal looking clothes next week. <laughs> Peace out. Bye. For science. I don't want to have to turn it off. Oh wait, it's here. Yeah, yeah all right. Bye. Wait, but oh, how? Wait. This is embarrassing. I'm gonna cut all this. No, maybe I shouldn't.